As kids deal with all the anxiety and stress from the pandemic, that book puts a focus on schools to potentially offer some help. Here in Central Georgia, the Dublin City School District started programs to address their students and staff's mental health needs. Now, Taylor Hicks joins us live in the studio. Taylor, you went to Dublin, you spoke with the Director of Mental Health. What are some of the things that students are dealing with right now? That's right. Now, anxiety, depression, anxiousness. Dublin City Schools say that they've basically seen it all. And I spoke with the school district's director of mental health, and she says that they're doing everything they can to make sure that the mental health needs of their students and staff members are met. You're happy and you know it. Clap your hands. Brianna Osborne's four-year-old daughter, Lennon, is happy most of the time, but sometimes she gets anxious. She asks a lot of questions. She wants to know um, where, who, what, why, when, how long are we going to be there. She'll say, my stomach hurts, I don't feel well, I, I feel, mom, I feel sick. She'll say that sometimes. Osborne says this is the reality for a lot of children, even more so since the pandemic started. It really looks like us, but just less verbal, they don't really know how to express it. It's it's really hard for them because their little minds can't comprehend what's going on and it's so unknown and so unsure for them. Tanya Spaulding is the director of mental health with Dublin City Schools. She says the pandemic has been difficult for children of all ages and she's seen it firsthand. The running theme that I have seen with students since the pandemic has started and it has kind of escalated uh, throughout the pandemic uh, the main thing is anxiety and depression. People would think, oh, it's only middle and high school. No, our, our sweet little elementary school kids, age nine, I deal with a lot of nine-year-olds who are having panic attacks and they're, they're very fearful and they are melting right before our eyes. Spalding says they've tripled their number of counselors so that students always have someone to talk to. They've also added the Shamrock button to their website for students and staff to access at any time. 24 hours a day, we get calls at night for students if they're on their computers and typing in things that are not appropriate or that are saying they're gonna hurt themselves or someone else, it triggers our department and we are responding in the middle of the night. People need to know that. Balding says this is something that many people are going through right now and that the district will keep doing whatever it takes to make sure that their students get the help that they need. The mental health issues are beginning to manifest themselves like now. We knew it was gonna manifest itself really big and now we're here and I feel like mental health is on the, the forefront. Another thing that Spalding says they do each week to address their students' mental health needs is post a post of a minute of wellness video each week to teach them how to cope in different situations. Caitlin, back to you. Thank you so much, Taylor. A very, very important program for those kids. If you are dealing with stress, some of the ways you can deal with it include stretching, eating well-balanced meals throughout the day, talking to a counselor, and just taking some time to unwind.